if you believe as I do that um, European leaders organize as talking heads and cahooters while making uh, grand gestures in which the rest of us are expendable, you realize that um, a great performance is going on. I happen to know from sad experience the sort of military absolutists who give um, our society a bad name from their intolerance towards others. What I want to talk about is um, the choice of names like Evangelia Karmas. The idea that um, karma or justice organized and um, executed by company Fiat is behind such things as deafening me, the nerve agent. Just deserves as part of a program. But the right wing extremists are the ones who went about belligerently adjusting cultural behavior, who had targeted the leadership first of the youth and then dismantled what they had to offer. The, Dignity was replaced with pardon when Kennedy and King were gone. And this was part of a nightmare that gets pigeonholed as MK Ultra, when in reality it was much more destructive than Frank Church Committee could possibly have found all out. Having a church committee investigate it, call it MK Ultra, and put it aside as one of the fetishes of J. Edgar Hoover's inner sanctum was a way of smothering it in malarkey, it was far more widespread and engrossing of our culture and a little file in J. Edgar Hoover's office could possibly sum up. And um, what was done to me has nothing to do with karma. How could it? You know, when I was sort of being subject to slaughtering blows of great, potentially lethal brutality. I was 10, 11 years old. They uh, forcibly indoctrinated me with behavioral modification that included the implant of a neuroplasm. And um, they assigned to themselves as poachers the status of observationing beneficiaries. More lords on high, amused and interested. Denying responsibility. What I'm driving at is, for example, what Rosa did. She said, if I hadn't been a jealous boyfriend, she wouldn't have done what she did. But the truth is that they had an agenda, and it wouldn't have mattered how I behaved, no matter how scrupulously I conformed to their notions of correctness. They were going to do what they were going to do. And that was fun. They had me birthed, positioned, identified, earmarked, and altered. What one wag called 
adjusted American. This was a simple trick. So, um, claiming my lack of faith and so on is just a cover up. They victimized me. And they continue to victimize me. And um, it's a way of getting away with um, con. And to call it an operation of justice, and justice or it's a karma, or divine law, or any of that, it's just ransacking the benefits of having frightened people into conformity. Because um, people who can get away with laughing at something like that, in my opinion, have abandoned principles of their offices. And that's where they all come from in Seattle. I don't really understand how all of the points and angles came to converge on one pedestrian. The argument that they make is something about some specious idea of John Lennon. Well, logically, if a deaf person is tortured and molested and some tyrant brings John Lennon's name into it, the answer is simply to note how it operated. But the people who did it had in mind a production situation, that what happened was not going to be considered. And it's the same story, no matter what I had done. Walking to school and being attacked blindsided is not a form of karma. I hadn't even gotten involved with their hanky-panky. being told that um, a violent, malicious, neurologically destructive, prior meditated attack on somebody's last hope or dignity in a relationship isn't karma either. Rosa walked into that situation knowing what she was going to pull and who she was going to pull it for and what their goals were. So it's not that I hope anybody can undo the damage of the crime that was produced and stage managed and directed by this um, society and its farcical claim that it doesn't torture people. It's a farcical claim. They brutally molested me. It wasn't karma for drug use. They forced those drugs on me. They were going to make sure they nearly killed me, making sure. They used every form of brutality and terror, making sure. And even when I didn't go along with it, they poisoned me. As you can see from what they did when I came back to Seattle, when they took me camping and poisoned my food for the TU lip revolution they were up to. I, I, I don't credit. You know, I have very little enthusiasm for the uh, editorializing I find and see. You know, it's, these people are damaged. You know, and what Russia's doing is just cahooters and whole thing.
not that I don't have ideas about what would be a better way of going about doing things. Everybody knows, I believe, in ecology and brotherly love. But they're trying to abduct me at the point of a pistol into something that's insane. And they say it's the only way or something. It's the only way. It's the only way to do what? To disgrace yourselves in the name of an honor code? Because that's what they did. Karma is what they mean by karmatic justice is disgracing themselves in the name of an honor code. Because what they did to me was disgraceful. And then the claim that they didn't. It's not worth two seconds of time. Yet they want to hear it all the time. 